Hello and welcome back to Soulstream LP. I'm of course a game operator and narrator Souls. Welcome back to the Pegasus Expedition, where we are persona non grata in the entire galaxy. Uh, that's right, we've hit Nemesis level. That's uh, that's awesome. And all I wanted to do was just sit around and play video games, but they wouldn't let me do it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so, what does that mean for us? Well, that means that everyone in the galaxy does not like us. Which means that we are going to have to fortify every single entryway into our territory that we would potentially have. Now, the Galactic North is taken care of. We could probably push a little further down in the Galactic East, I think. And that would actually assist in making a somewhat defensible line here. We need this colonizable area. We need this colonizable area. And I think we need this colonizable area, but this is going to be a problem for a different video. Right now, we have to worry about the, the war with the Anoa. It has gotten to a head, I think you could say, and we need to put a stop to it as quickly as possible. So, first things first, let's go ahead and make sure our borders are secure. Take this group. put a stop to the advance over here man oh man can't believe this uh turn around beat me right in the butt this should be a fairly quick fight uh still lost a ship though is what it is can i move this fleet up here i cannot actually fly line goes right here it does not go does not extend all the way up here. We are going to want to stop that in its tracks as quickly as possible. Well, if we can't do the quick jump, we might as well do the, uh, the old way. Now, of course, anytime we get an attack, we are going to be using any means necessary to make sure that our defensive lines hold. <sighs> But well, we'll have to wait and see how far that gets us. I need something over here. Oh, looks like I forgot I had that fleet there. So this fleet here can actually make its way down here and try and put a stop to any sort of advances through this territory. This guy's got this area on lockdown. We have nothing over here. Which I think we should probably get something in place. Uh, these two fleets are pretty banged up. This fleet is good to go. And we have some extra room for additional fleets. Let's go ahead and get those built as well. Actually, before we do that, let's make sure that we have the construct construction capabilities. We get some more shipyards brought in speed up any any sort of uh, fleet construction we possibly do in the, in the future. Flat damage all round. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Specializing cruisers. Cruiser fleet. Away we go. Now we can afford one more fleet. Carriers, interceptors, artillery. Cruisers, carriers, interceptors, and frigates. Let's grab you. You are, of course, additional cruiser damage more than artillery damage. Which will get you set up six and six. Just enough left in the bank for it. Perfect. All right, now what to do on the territory? Hmm. Well, we don't want to jump too far ahead. I think if we advance... We advance one more line. Should be good. Advance one more. Do well, The fleets aren't really in that much disrepair. 
And they're also not uh, not perfect either. That guy's going to stick around there for at least one turn. You need to get back here for repairs. Worry about you next turn. Same with you. This is going to be a very busy hub at Hanor here for a second. And the rest is going to be what it is going to be. Now, while we're at it, let's check out our operatives here. Sir, our derelict team has reported the section of the ship has collapsed on them, fatally injuring three and injuring two more. Ah. Roger that. It's unfortunate. Hopefully they can get through this one. I think this is the last derelict we have on our timetable to actually investigate. Uh, we're not going to worry too much about the Galactic North. We're just going to worry about our front line here for now. That's holding place. We'll push once more and then we'll wait a turn. Drive the wedge in a little bit deeper. Ooh. So this might be close. Oh, there we go. All right, so you, sir, are just going to sit here and chill <laughs> and hold the, this section. Ah. Well, let's find out how well this fight goes. Because obviously holding this point would be much better. Fingers crossed for easy combat, and away we go. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. And one more? I think I can extend my extend myself that far this side. Fleet power 141. I think we'll probably still be just fine. Let's see if we can get there. We go. We will use some cruise missiles to try and throw the balance in our favor quickly. All right, so this fleet here can move up here and that's going to be your brand new home that's where you're gonna sit and lightning strike hit all the groups at once and see what we can do there we go all right so that's going to hold the galactic east on this side of the map That might be where that fleet sits, too. Now, as far as this group... I think we could probably drive a wedge in. I'm going to be real upset if I miscalculated this one. Uh, keep in mind that this uh, Noah Empire is still not still not beaten in any sense of the word. Very much turn around and make us bleed if they want. 428. Oh, that's a big group of guys. You know, I think we should probably switch sides. There's large fleet in here, hit them there, hit them there, and then bring this guy down, hit this group here. Yes. Could save us a few losses. Things like this fleet here is almost fight fresh. And the 
one ship that was damaged was lost, unfortunately. That's all right. Push one more system down. Ah, uh, that, that artillery is going to do some work on us. We didn't lose anybody, so that's good. Drive that out of here. We can wedge this fleet. Right over here, because we can't quite reach that group just yet. We'll make sure we hold the line. You can't go anywhere. This place is busy. Everybody's set up and holding position. All right, fingers crossed. Let's see who does what. Guys, please don't make me use nukes. Oh, man. All right. No retreat. Set her up. You can certainly have that, then. They didn't stick around very long. Hey, they're out of here. Perfect. Holds them there for one more turn, so that way I can move up. Now, Anoa, what are you going to be doing? Survey says... Ooh. Shoot. There was a fleet hiding back there. Well, um, let's, uh, let's cause ourselves some damage, shall we? Oh, they're going to pile into the one group with the nukes. Of course. Let's see if we can get this off before uh, we get overwhelmed. As much good as it's going to do. Because some damage, not enough. That should hold them there for at least one more turn. No, we're not going to build. We're not going to get anywhere effective to stop that advance this time. We'll grab our 633. We'll at least remove some choices from them. So they can either go this way or that way. That's about the only choices they got. The entire Galactic West, or, yes, North, South, East, West, the entire Galactic West here, we're actually going to leave. A uh, reactor. Sir, a derelict team is approaching what seems like some kind of a reactor facility based on the scouting drone footage we received. Our experts have assessed that the reactor is slowly collapsing, though we don't have any data on the specifics of the collapsing process. The team has reported that they're not sure if they can make it past, but as, as it's the only way forward, they're preparing to do so. We're reporting this to you per protocol, as there are a high chance of casualties. We're not detecting any radiation yet, but the heat is extremely intense, even far off from the reactor's enclosure. Perfect. Uh, we lost one manpower, so that's not too bad. And some supplies, but we are making progress. Now, yeah, what do we got available over here for fleets? We'll bring one up to the front lines here. This 175 is going to get repaired. What is that? Six frigates and two artillery. All right, we'll get these guys all cleaned up.
because the facilities here make it so much quicker. Instead of repairing, to just rebuild. This group here is a six and six. AI, get a repair systems online. Uh, let's do autonomous firing. Just because I love that long range support. We also have two more fleets we can build. Uh, probably not a bad idea. Artillery damage and flagship. All units and flagship. Carriers. All units and carriers. Yeah, let's grab this one. And for you, I guess you could probably do a mix. And four. Four. And that's going to be impossible to complete that one this turn. That's fine. Hmm. Those three fleets are up and running. You actually need to get over here, but you can sit there and wait for right at moments patch this up shall we put these holier than thou gentlemen on uh, lockdown don't want to get involved with the galaxy as it is because you think you're better than everybody else that don't get involved with the galaxy just because I made the mistake of firing a few extra nukes. All right. That'll be over here. Hold there. We have a fleet coming in over here. The Galactic West will take one turn to breathe and repair. Yes, because they need it. All right, let's end turn and see what happens. Long-term happiness is zero. <laughs> We're kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's a little upset. So which way are you going, bud? 237 versus 33. Hmm. That's not actually giving you much for options, but you'll have to engage us here. All right. Let's see if we can make you eat some nukes. Eh, might not be if they pile up on, up at uh, Agu. They're not. That's their mistake. Have some of those. They are going to be piling up on us. Very shortly here, actually. We'll do some uh, support fire to the other side. Well, as expected. But they're not going to make it past the next turn. We'll force them down here, drive them back here. And they'll have a fleet in position to hold everything in location there. Which would be just fine. In fact, why not do it right now? There we go. Clean them up. It was a good trick circling all the way around. But, uh, fun's over. And we're going to need all these fleets to be in position anyway. So you got widespread defenses. All right. Have a lightning strike. Hit you from all locations at once. See what happens. Exactly. And there we go. You can hold the fort down there. You're holding there. You're holding there. Hopefully, well, where's a good spot for you? Oh... I guess with this only being the one fleet here, if I sit you there, 
You can watch both of those approaches, and at least this guy's down here just in case. But I should probably get another fleet up here, but we'll worry about that one next time. One thing at a time. Corroded section. Sir, a derelict team is approaching a section of the ship which is being corroded by a spill of some toxic fluid. We are calculating the safest route for them to cross it, but are still reporting this to you per protocol, as there is a high chance of casualties. Copy that. We lost four supplies, but no casualties. We're actually starting to run short on supplies. We're almost a third down, and we're only... Eh... Yeah, we're over halfway. Not too bad. We should be good. Good. Can't see it, but I'm doing air quotes. Should be good. There, put that fleet there. Everybody else should be almost in fight form. Yeah, pretty much good to go. What do you got here? 107, not too bad. I'll pop you this way. Ah, there is a 260. Look at that. Knew there had to be somebody powerful kicking around here. Uh, lightning strike. Tie everybody up and see what we get. Um, maybe. Maybe it would have been worth it to not, but, uh. I think we're probably fine. We'll push a little harder on this one. Oh, yeah, we're doing a cautious advance here. Everybody's a little roughed up. We got the fleet, uh, the firepower behind us to do it just fine. Uh, we may... Oh, we did lose one ship. I was going to say, we may have not lost of anyone, but that's a lie. Well, that's okay. We could bring these guys on down, too. Get this system cleaned up. In case you can't tell, we're kind of pushing fairly hard to try and take the, uh, the goal system here. This nemesis issue is going to be something I don't want to really deal with too much in the, in the future moving forward, if at all possible. Something about uh, nobody really liking us. Not being able to do anything else. It's, uh, it's not good. Not good. I'll we'll take this fleet in here, hit there, move down here. Take that group down here and hold position. Bring this fleet over here. That's a good Cautious advance, don't mind if I do. Mm. Let's do this the other way. These guys, while not fully up to fight and wait, are at least fully repaired. There we go. No losses. Gonna love it. Now this group. Well, we're going to have to push because if we sit or move them here and just have them sit, that's kind of a waste. They're not going to repair anyways. Might as well push. Fingers crossed. Let's see if we lose any ships in this one. Uh, we're probably going to lose a few. 
crap. That's all right. Not too bad. Everybody all blocked up now? Take that system next turn. And then we can push this down here. Have that system. Hmm. We'll worry about drawing the line here. Or have it set up a defensive line anyways. A little bit later. As far as the rest of it. We do have to have another shipyard all set up, so let's go ahead and use it. Frigates, reduce damage. This one might be good. What do you got? Interceptor damage, artillery damage, or flagship damage. Uh, four cruisers, four carriers. And we'll get some artillery lined up. Perfect. Now these guys here, everybody's moved. Everybody has moved who can move. Good for you. Let's bring you on over here and get you signed up. Not going to be able to build anything for you this turn. That's fine. What are you going to do, Anoa? What's your spin? What's your take? In a shuffle, are you going to push? Ah, fall back and shuffle. Probably a wise choice. Ah, corroded section. So our derelict team is approaching a section of the ship which is being corroded by spill. I thought I already did that. Those two corroded sections. Another poor supplies down. Not too bad. We are kind of holding together. So that's good. Everything over here is good. Move you into position here. There. Now you should be able to react to anything that goes on over here until we get you some more backup. I think this group is probably going to be your backup. Yeah. Flung all the way across the sector. A little expensive for energy, but not too bad. I think these fleets are probably going to hold position for one turn just to repair. How do I want to swing this? This group to here, this group to there. Group there. You stay. You can move up. Oh, I could be downright mean with this one, actually. Let's hold this fleet in the back pocket here, just in case. They're not in need of repair. It's 596, can move up. You can take that system. Can we do a lightning? Oh, we can do somewhat of a... Somewhat of a thing. Tie everybody up. There we go. It ain't pretty. It's literally going to be... Let's turn this group pushes down to... Ugh. 
That's a big group of ships over here. Maybe it would be a job for this group to kind of sidestep over this way and hit that group. And by golly, we might be able to end the war next turn. What a what a wonderful idea that would be. It's a side note. I should probably start working on maybe setting up another supply line. Hmm. That way I can ferry ships around as needed. And then if I terminate it here, then at least I can supply fleets from one side of the galaxy to the other. As needed. Hopefully it doesn't go over 70 or 65 or 70%. Fingers crossed. Now as far as this other group. What are you missing? You're missing three carriers and two artillery. I think we might be able to re replace that. Three carriers, two artillery. All in the next turn. Perfect. As far as fleets go, we have available for admirals. Increased damage, increased frigates. Frigates and damage resistance. Frigates and damage. Damage and damage resistance. Let's go ahead and get you. You sound like a nice all-rounder. Let's set you up with eight cruisers and four artillery. Hey, we'll even have enough to actually get you on the field next turn. Here we go. Let's allow everybody to repair. And we should actually be able to smash this out. Put an end to this bloody war once and for all. But to actually give us a chance to try and fix our nemesis standing. Which is kind of what we really want to do at the moment. Because, whew. Nobody likes us. And I'm getting a little tired of that one. All right, what we do? We got Medbay. Sir, a derelict team has reported they're into a large research facility. Determined to be a Medbay by our experts. We're sending their drone footage directly to you. Is this is something you'll want to see. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and thoroughly examine the bodies. Fingers crossed everything turns out great. If not, well, I guess, uh, whoops. That's the end of that one. All right, we need this system. Let's take it. I would like to have a buffer system, but that's not going to happen. So, uh, Lightning strike. Let's try this. Tie everybody up. Split up their artillery so they can't hit us all at once. No losses? No losses. Love it when a plan comes together. And you need to push down here. Cautious advance will do us well for this one. He says as we take massive damage. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Drive them back up. It's available here. Not a big fleet. This is a fairly large group. What do we got? 424. Take that 712 and drive that right down their throats here. Let's split it up a little bit though and try and take as much territory around it as we can. I don't know if the war is going to stop immediately once we take over the, uh, the capital. Wow. Okay, this is kind of painful. Ah. We we'll have to uh, re revamp that fleet after this fight. Let's push down here. Hmm. 
Okay. I don't think I can. Nope. That's right. We'll hit him like this. I got no missile support, so it's kind of a uh, finger cross kind of moment. We got it. And for the coup de gras, as soon as I make sure that my supply line is being built. All right. 712. Let's hit it. Here's to the end of the war, ladies and gentlemen. If I can swing it. Oh, buddy, really? Uh, lightning strike. Mainly because I want to get rid of all of these outer defenses at the same time, too. But I'm also going to make sure that I win. A little painful, but that's okay. Director, congratulations on your victory over the capital system, Her, This boosts our credibility greatly, but we need to have the Yenoa removed as well. And please, refrain from damaging the capital in any way. We'll need it intact. Uh... Remove the House of Anoa. Remove the house of Anoa. Ah. <laughs> well, you know, I guess as long as uh, since I'm already on like the galactic hate list, it's fine. I'm sure it's all fine. Send this fleet up here to take this sector. How far around this way do they stretch? Probably a fair bit, I'm going to assume. Because why not? Why wouldn't they? All the way around the galactic core. Whoa! Easy with those heavy weapons there. Yeah, I'm holding them all the way around here. Ugh. Which means I'm going to need a group to sit here. That's if they don't expand out this way. Oh my good god. Ah. Well. So much for that defensive line idea. <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to hit end turn here just to... Oh yeah, here we go. We got a look. We we got someone trying us. Okay, you know what? Have some nukes. I am so sick and tired of your superior superiority complex. Everybody's gonna get nukes. You can have that and that. You can also have that, and you can have that. Leave me alone, please. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, Noah, what are you gonna do? Where are you gonna push? And what am I gonna do about this? Hmm. It went from a simple Kingmaker request to, oh, by the way, this genocide will do, thank you very much. 
Ah, that's what I get for trusting bird people. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, by all means, don't forget to hit that like button. If you really like what you've seen so far, but if you really like the series, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We are going to be working on something for next week as well. To try and fill in some extra days. Um, but likes and subscribes really help me combat the algorithm and get the videos out there. Uh, so I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for your support. In the meantime, stay warm, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.